What is up my fam bam? Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry welcoming you to my hair color changing video. Today we are testing out this company's hair color called Uberless and we're gonna slather it right onto my hair. For those of you who aren't subscribed to me and want to be filled in on the details, I was letting my hair fade from being this deep dark purple ombre style and I faded it all the way to this right here. So very yellow, very faded, that's okay. I wanted a nice clean canvas. So I took my hair from that to this that you see right here. It is a nice lavendery purple with some little pink streaks in there, just little hidden um, little doodads, and it's kind of like a grayish purple lavendery thingamajig. Now, full disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video by any means, but I was sent these products for free from Uberlist for me to try out and let you guys know whether I like them or not. You know, I always keep it honest and real here, so I'm gonna tell you exactly my feelings about this product and the details and everything on Uberlist towards the end, but if you wanna first see how I got my hair from this to this, then you know what to do, just go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, as you see, I do not have roots at the moment. I actually already pre-lightened my hair earlier today. So you can see that right up here, I just put bleach onto the roots. So I use a 20 to 30 volume developer on my roots, but you do whatever your stylist recommends and then I rinse it out after it's gone to a very, very light, light shade. Like they say pale, pale yellow. Um, I go to almost white because I want the rest of my hair to match. And then I had been letting my purple fade, as you guys know if you're a subscriber of mine, probably the last month and a half since I last did my color. I just didn't apply more purple. I just did purple shampoos and stuff to maintain. So it didn't look too obvious, but the last week or two since I knew these colors were coming in soon, I was just really letting it fade. But I still had some demarcation of like a more intense purple. So I went ahead and did a shampoo bleach wash in the shower. I'm sorry I don't have a video of that. It's because I do it in the shower, but I would recommend doing it under stylist supervision or if you very, very adamantly about doing it at home, probably look up some videos. It's just a mixture of water, bleach, five volume developer, and a little bit of shampoo. And you leave it on for like 30 seconds just to get that little extra lift out. So now it is time to have some fun. So first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this line because it's probably new to you or if not, you don't maybe know everything about it yet. It was new to me when I first was researching it, obviously. These are semi-permanent colors and they are supposed to have vibrant results and last up to eight washes. I actually really like, that's one of the reasons why I chose this is because I don't want something as strong as the ones I was using before because I want it to rinse out a little bit faster because I think I'm just gonna go back to a lilac platinum for a little while after these rinse out unless I do it to maintain you know you never know with me I like start rinsing it out and washing out the color as much as possible and then I'm like no I'm bored I want color again case in point right here so it also features coconut oil and aloe vera so that's really good for the hair no animal testing cruelty free and gluten free and you can use it as a take home from a salon to maintain your results. There are a few different ways you can use these colors. These are called, by the way, the Bond Sustainer colors from Uberless. And the first one would be like in salon use or when you actually want the full pigmentation. So you're supposed to do it on dry, pre-lightened hair, just as I have already done, as I discussed, and leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Now for at-home maintenance, it looks like there's two different ways you can use it just for maintenance. You can either do it on the dry, pre-lightened hair for 10 to 20 minutes, so a lesser time to process just to refresh. Or if you want less intense results, like just a little bit of refreshing, then apply it onto damp hair for just I would say like five or ten minutes maybe it says just less time but less time to me from 10 to 20 would be 5 to 10 so it says also dark hair will not show vibrant results in case you're not familiar with fun funky hair colors usually these ones will not show up on darker hair sorry 
So today I want to be doing a nice lilac y look with some little pink strands. So I actually had them send me the Bond Sustainer in lilac, which is look kind of like a lavender y pastel, which is perfect. And then the shade that I wanted, the pink, was a some kind of pink pastel, but they were out of stock, unfortunately. But she did let me know that I could do the pink rose and mix it with the Bond Sustainer, which I was thinking about diluting the other pink one anyway, so that's no big deal. And it looks like the Bond Sustainer is supposed to really repair the hair and make it nice and strong while also depositing color if you do that but you can also just use the bond sustainer if you're just looking for you know a, like a super deep treatment to help actually make the fibers of the hair stronger so that's really exciting all right so i'm gonna start now i'm just gonna section it the same way that i've sectioned off for my bleach so i put it into four quadrants and if you saw my other how to do purple ombre video I go over that in a little more detail and then down this section but basically I'm gonna have one two three four just like that all right I went ahead and dropped down the first sections that I'm gonna be doing so from the back quadrants working from the back lower all the way up I'm gonna be dropping down both sides at a time that way when I get to the highlighting parts I can make them a little more even and they won't be too you know uneven <laughs> So let's go ahead and start doing that. I'm gonna start with the purple shade though, and then randomly on my way up, I will be putting the pink inside. All right, very interesting. They are super duper like fibery, which is probably the Bond Sustainer working in there. So I'm gonna read up on that while I am coloring. So I gotta put my gloves on right here. Gotta protect them paws and claws, right? This is a cute look, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, ooh. So starting with the lilac shade, I didn't actually use any mixer with this. I thought the color looked really pretty as is. So I'm curious to see how it looks just straight out of the bottle. Especially since it says it only lasts eight washes, which I mean, for me honestly is like, you know, at least three weeks because I don't wash my hair that often, but I like that. It's a little messy because the Bond Sustainer in there is like very streaky. So I need to be cautious of that. See, that's a really pretty color so far. And when you're working with vibrant colors, make sure to really saturate your hair so that way it gets all full, full coverage. All right, now time to throw in a highlight. So I'm gonna be dropping down this next section. So this is my third section to drop down. And then I'm gonna be highlighting some pieces. So I have a little rat tail comb. I'm gonna drop down this because it has some purple on it. I'm just gonna drop down two pieces. So one and two. So those two little ones I will lighten purple. So first I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clip this out of the way, put some purple on these. Okay, now bringing that piece back down. You know what, working with this, I was feeling like, you know what, I don't think I need the foil to separate this because it's so thick. I don't think that they're gonna rub up against each other. So I'm not even gonna use foil to separate these colors out. I originally was, but not before I played with it and I think they'll be just fine. That pink is cute. Oh. That's really cute. I'm not gonna do a lot of these random pieces. They're just gonna be like sprinkled, like a sprinkled cupcake donut. So one and two, just two down. So just repeating that same process on the other side. So purple here and then the piece that I just clipped out of the way, I will do pink. Okay, so I don't have a full set of mirrors in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this up and then show you the pink pieces that I pulled through. We'll wash this puppy out and then you get to see the final results and I'll let you know how I feel about how this is all working out so far and everything like that. All right, babes, I am back and looking like a Candyland unicorn and I am liking it. 
So, um, sorry that I had to finish up off camera, but it's just not possible in here and the lighting in my bathroom sucks. But what I did is I first had those panels right there. I just did um, one more ombre panel back here where I took the purple down and then pink the rest. And then I did one strip of pink up here and then I make that on both sides. For the front, I did purple section, I did a little pink, and then I did a one little ombre and then another pink section up there. And then just for reference how much color I actually needed to do this, so I used one bottle of the Lilac Plus, probably a third, so one and a third bottles of this to cover my whole head, plus the pink I used a half a bottle plus a half of the Bond Sustainer. So that equals a little more than two bottles for my whole head. So know that. So now with the power of movie magic, here is the finished result. All right, you guys, you've already seen this finished result at the beginning of the video, but here it is again after seeing the process. So first impressions of what I think, how was it like rinsing it out? Okay, to be honest, the color looked really dark when it was on my hair after I let it set for the 30 minutes. So I got a little nervous and I shampooed it two times in a row in the shower because I wanted it to be a pastel shade and I was worried that it was going to be too dark. Was that totally a great idea? No, probably not. However, I do really like how this came out. I think it looks really pretty. I have these like darker strands in the front and then somehow it fades to the back and that's probably just where I concentrated the second shampoo at. And then um, I love these little pinks when I st wanna style my hair to the side, which I normally do. Then I can see these little pink puffs of color and then the other way, same way. So I like it that when I put my hands through my hair, especially outside in the sun, you can see the different peekaboos. And it just feels like a pastel-y, candyland, unicorn type of look. And, I, and I'm really digging it. I do wish that I didn't do a second shampoo wash and just let it be how it is supposed to be the first time. Because I think it faded it a tad too much. But it actually was good for me to do that because I wanted to see... Will this really only last eight washes? And I'm thinking that is probably accurate that it's gonna last eight washes because yeah, I can see that it's gonna fade, which is it's totally good for me. If you're looking for like a longer lasting hair color, I don't, I can't attest to that yet, but they don't say that that's what you're gonna get. So yeah, I want this to be able to fade into a nice lavendery platinum because I just wanted to have some fun with this look for a couple weeks and I don't mind at all. So now applying the color was very, very messy. So I'm gonna just put that right there. In case you didn't know, I am a licensed stylist. I don't work in salons anymore, but I've worked with a bazillion different types of hair color and I have never worked with anything quite as sticky and webby and interesting as this. This is a completely new breed for me, which meant it was taking some trial and error and a little bit of messy poo on my counters to get used to it. When you go to wet your brush in it and pick up product, it strings out like Spider-Man webs. It's crazy, which I think that's the bond sustainer in there. So hopefully that is doing some good stuff and building up the proteins in your hair like they say they are. Otherwise, it's just a big mess. And then because the product is so thick, it was a little bit harder to saturate my hair. So I would take even smaller sections than what I showed you, slather the hair and work it in. I think as a stylist, this would be really easy to apply on people, no problem. But onto myself, it was a little more challenging just because I can't like see all the spots and like it's just more awkward. Using this for color maintenance at home, I think will be a lot easier than doing it on dry hair because when your hair is damp, it just accepts things a little bit better. Makes it more diluted, yes, but you're really just maintaining the result as opposed to creating the results which is what I did on dry hair so you know more trial and error will work for that I will probably be using this as a refresher on damp hair like it suggests maybe in the next week or two and I'll update you guys definitely either in a future video or in the description box whether that was easy or not now if you're sitting there waiting to hear hey Ashley do you recommend the product or not what is going on well, I would have to say the verdict is still out for me personally. I think this is something that I need to use again till I 100% give my stamp of approval just because it is a little bit more finicky to work with. It's not as user friendly as some other hair colors out there, but I do like the results, so I'm very conflicted. So I'm definitely 50-50 and more testing will be required to give you guys my 100% feedback 
Now some details about the Uberlist brand in case you're interested in purchasing them. You can either purchase these through the Uberlist website, which I will link down in the description box. And then on that website, they also have a salon locator. So you can find out if a salon near you either retails these for you to purchase there, or they actually do the color treatments and bonding treatments there themselves. Bond Sustainer Colors retail for $29.95 for these three ounce bottles. I do see they have a special on their website right now. If you buy any three Bond Sustainers, then you can get them for $39. 99 so that's a really really good savings that it turns it into like $12 a bottle ish my math is wrong but that's much better than the $30 price point now I am seeing about 13 different colors on their website from teal yellow peach pastel well, all kinds of different colors for you to check out if you're interested in that all right my love bugs that is it for today's video if you stumble upon my channel for the very first time Hey, what's up? Welcome. If you want to join our fam bam and get notifications about when I upload, which is about three times or more a week, go down and hit that little subscribe button and then tap that bell right next to it. That maybe allegedly will make sure you get notified according to YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope everybody has a great, awesome, freaking lovely day.